we use that word a lot to like tease each other if, we're, if one of us wanted to do something risky like oh, you're being dangerous oh, like, okay. dangerous, <laughs> dangerous dangerous yeah <laughs> Should we do hi in Roja? You, you, you guys do it. I'll just smile and wave because you guys are, you guys are used to it. <laughs> Okay. Hi, we're Royal Jag from San Bernardino, California. Royal Jag was a project that really started in high school. My brother and I have been playing music since 2009, 2010. We play open mics and high school events and obviously local events. And Dave has been there since the start too, but he, he was like there to support us always. He was our best friend. He started playing synth during high school and we started jamming out, getting to know each other's like musical interests and obviously not a surprise that we're all into the same stuff. So after high school, going to college. We started playing a little more, more full band, I would say. And it was more of a, a special guest for David to come play with us. You know, it was the best times. Like we had our best friend play with us, which is what we always wanted. So those early college years were a really cool time to start playing with David a little more serious, but it was still kind of like a guest feel. Yeah, it was a weird time for me because I was like kind of in between being in school and having to do something else. So because I, my heart wasn't in school. So I um, would jam with them every once in a while. And I just remembered loving the feeling so much, but I always had in my head, you know what? Don't forget that you also have to find a new major that you want to do. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know. I really like doing this. Maybe I might make this my full-time thing. And then um, one day we started writing a song together and this song was called 65 Palms. And it was, it had a lot of synth parts in it. And I was like thinking, dang, like if, if I don't join the band, like the song's not going to be as cool. Right. So, <laughs> right. so I was like, you know what? I will, would be in the band 100%. The first piece that came up was a voice memo recording that I had of the keyboard part. And I just bring it to the guys like, hey guys, what do you guys think about this? It sounds like, it sounds pretty cool, right? Pretty funky. I remember finding myself replaying that without even knowing what a backbone of the song would be. I just kept replaying it like what can loved I, it what can i hear with this that just stayed in our back pockets for the longest time when we were writing the songs that be on idk high we had like five contenders and, and dangerous was one of them but we didn't have like a finalized verse or chorus really so while we we're at our producer's place where we stayed at his place for two weeks while we we're recording the entire ep We would watch the uh, New Edition biopic. We're watching it there. We got like in super into New Edition, right? right. <laughs> that biopic. Oh, we became Stan. Like, yeah. We became Stan for that. And we got so invested in that where when we got back to, we circled around to finishing that song. I was like, oh, I have so much inspiration for this. Like, mm -hmm. I want the chorus to sound like a, you know, that 80s pop melody. You know, I want that sound bad, you know? Yeah. This song almost didn't make the record, actually, because yeah. given that two weeks, um, we came back to it and we we're like, all right, so um, what do you guys say? Uh, you guys want to work on this one? It's like, we, we only have one more day. Uh, do you think we can finish it? We're like, ooh, I don't know, because we don't have any lyrics, any melodies, nothing. And he's like, well, you still got the other five songs, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, why don't you just make that the EP and just save this one for another one? We, we kind of like, kind of said, yeah, we'll think about it. And we all like huddled together, like, guys, I really want this song on the EP. <laughs> yeah. Like this. yeah. 
this is one we have faith in this one. This one, you know, it might come out and surprise us, you know, like we yeah. got to finish this one. So after we're done with our huddle, we went back to Jesse and we're like, Hey man, is there any way we can come back like next week for like a day or two and, and just like really just nail it. Like we promise when we go back, we'll, we're going to write all the melodies and, and the words to it. We promise. And he was like, all right, well, I'll just do a quick arrangement of it. I was like, what do you guys think about this? And we're like, that sounds good. Okay, cool. We'll take that and we'll, 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 we'll run with it and we'll come back and we'll finish it next week. And he was like, all right, sounds good. I'll see you guys then. And then we came back and we delivered. <laughs> <laughs> when we were recording it the guys were in the control room with jesse and they were listening back and jesse was like you gotta make this chorus sound sexy and make it sound like you're singing to whoever's listening to it you know you want to make it be like "Ooh, he's he's trying to mean something so basically if you listen to like the chorus and you hear the words like dangerous Dangerous. and what's the other word sorry curious curious Curious. Curious. oblivious if oblivious oblivious if you hear those words Almost listen to it separately in your ear, and you can see how much I, how hard I try to say those words as clearly and as sexy as possible. <laughs> For the lyrics and the melody, we kind of like, we kind of fabricated a story. Yeah we basically had the storyline of falling in love with someone or being, you know, wanting to be with someone that may not be the best one for you, but you kind of just threw out the window. Cause this is, this is now. And I, I care about, you know, just seeing this through and seeing what happens for myself. Right. And like pretty much not overthinking it and just diving in. Growing up, we always had, I guess, fixation towards something. We'd always be like, Oh man, doing that would be cool. Right guys. And like, yeah, that'd be cool. We just, we just always have like similar hobbies and we just like, yeah, guys, let's all get into this. You know, this is a cool thing. Let's do it. <laughs> um, one would be bike riding. We, we rode bikes a lot um, in college, skated. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we tried doing some parkour a little bit, right? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> it was like a whole bunch of random stuff. Basketball, of course. Yeah. We got into like a lot of similar hobbies and one that stuck the longest is music. And that's what, I think the one that we found a lot of joy in and we um, we just want to see how far we can go with this because it's been it's been a super fun journey so let's keep going yeah yeah leave a comment down below that's my biggest thing right there just like it to like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell to yeah. let you guys know when the next time we release them. <laughs> We're practicing, sorry, practicing for when we start to get that level. <laughs>